We're constantly staring at our phones. We're constantly on the computer. We're constantly on the go. I think we're so busy in our everyday lives that sometimes we forget how important it is to just stop and reconnect. There's sometimes when you meet somebody, he's gonna make your life richer. You can meet somebody at the shipping, drinking, sharing a table, then you guys just start a conversation. Then it happens that you needed that what he's gonna tell you about you really needed that. Then you start connect, exchange numbers. I like to go to the same pub. Sorry, guys. I like to sit in the same seat. I like to see the same people. It's just, you get a nice little lift. You get a spark in your belly when you go in there. I like having Thanksgiving at my place because um, I think it's an honor and it's a very intimate thing. Okay, that looks really good. And I think when somebody's invited to my house, they are like, they're, they're seeing a part of me maybe they wouldn't normally see, or that I'm sharing a part of myself with them. On attendait toute cette soirée. C'est un peu, je crois, le but de la fête aussi, quand c'est prévu à l'avance. Euh, c'est d'anticiper, comme quand on fait un voyage, on anticipe avant, on est déjà parti dans notre tête et ça fait partie intégrante du voyage. Et la fête, c'est ça aussi. Monsieur Ici, c'est très convivial. Je suis ravi de vous accueillir. La convivialité, c'est de l'affection. Hein. Donc nous, la reconnaissance qu'on a, c'est dans le contentement des clients. Yo, what's up, Jeremy Good, man. How are you? Good, man. Good, good. Love it, love it. A bar is a small community because everyone gets to know everyone in the bar. I think we're going to be all right. You have a buddy come in, and then an, another friend will come in. They build the bond, and it's always kind of fun to see how you, know, you see that friendship build right in front of you. KTV is a community space. Here, only you and your friends. 如果是你非常适合发泄自己情绪的一个场合，如果真的是有什么事想谈的或交流的，或者是情绪的宣泄的话，我个人会选择去KTV比较多一点。Ayer ayer me fue quemar. Bueno para mí la convivialidad es es algo muy bonito. Algo que en realidad ya se está perdiendo actualmente, puesto que ahorita el mundo está muy moderno, las tecnologías han avanzado y la convivencia que hay entre nosotros, la verdad, es algo especial, algo muy bonito. Es como, como una, nuestra segunda familia. Es realmente importante esta cosa de amar a la gente. Genuinidad, como dijimos, la gente siendo genuina, dando genuinamente. Trying to enjoy life or remind each other how important it is to enjoy life and be clean, be pure about it. Rather than get caught up in your, you know, nine to five job or driving in traffic, swearing at people, nothing. Man, you need to get together for these moments, and this is what matters. Now you're connecting because you want to connect, because your soul yearns for it. And you get in there and everybody is in a good mood. Everybody is happy. And, and, and happiness is contagious. You know, I always say that um, I'm not the same person all the time. 
I'm a variation of the people that I, I interact with. Aye, 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 aye. I'm a man, you're good. So the whole socializing, the whole connecting with people, it's so important to me because that's how I get to meet myself every day. I, I don't even know this word, word reality. reality. It's new to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then once they explained it to me and they showed it to me, I was like, no, but we've been having this in Africa, yeah. especially in South Africa. Yeah. We've got a word for that, Ubuntu. You know what I'm saying? This is not... Hey! El compartir el momento con una persona y, y quitar todas esas barreras. ¿Quién ha sido y quién quiere ser? <risa> es una manera de decir te amo. Es un acto de amor. A, a, hacer... Um, abrirte tanto a otra persona. Ese acto de, de compartir o de escuchar um, te fortalece. The first step is done when we make the first connection and we get to introduce each other and then maybe we make a connection about something that we have an interest or one that and then all of a sudden we are in it. We are in a community and we are all basically practicing a very old ritual of just getting together. <laughs> Sharing a drink with somebody can definitely be a moment of engaging. It can be a moment of authentic conversation or communion. Once you're gonna cheer, you look into each other's eyes. And I truly believe that you cannot look into someone's eyes and dismiss their humanity. <laughs> when those magical moments happen is when you really know that as an individual you exist and you feel that people really acknowledge you and that your life matters to everyone. En sí son instantáneos, pero al mismo tiempo son son momentos muy largos porque los revivimos en en nuestra mente, en nuestros pensamientos, en nuestros en nuestras memorias. The only thing that you truly will have when you are by your lonesome on your deathbed. It's the memories of the moments that you shared and experienced with people that touched your life. love, hope, food, tequila. You know, you can share anything. For me, the best thing about it is I love myself when I'm there. I feel a good version of me, you know what I mean? I have, I have that side is out, I hope, and seen, I hope, because I feel that way. Those little experience are what I take with me, and that's, I pack them with me, you know, I pack my valuables, I pack my essentials in those memories. And if every day, this is all you do, learning how to create these moments, learning how to spot these moments, learning how to enjoy these moments, then you will survive anywhere on this beautiful earth. You'll find that language is not a barrier you'll find that my background and culture and color are not a barrier because connecting for humans is a universal language that everybody can understand.